Good morning, everyone. Yeah. Sorry if you hear like noise, obviously the dogs. But um, so much has happened within the past week. So, yeah. But yeah, I'm just cleaning up now because actually I did go to work yesterday, guys. Um, I went to work yesterday mainly just to sit there. Um, sit in a section and I did make some bread. I made about $400 for two hours of work. So, I'm very, 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 very thankful for that because bitches gotta pay for shit. It's not even a joke anymore. Like, bitches really gotta pay for shit. And this shit is ridiculous. I'm sorry, like, I'm kind of all over the place because, like, obviously my brain is still a little bit scattered. But, um, I don't know if I showed you guys my bag, but this is the new bag that I got. It's the Chanel Classic Flap and Medium, the Caviar Leather. Um, I'm obsessed with it. It's so beautiful. This is my first luxury purchase I've made on my own. This is literally the nicest bag I've ever owned. Um, I kind of feel guilty for carrying it around because it's just so expensive, but, yeah. They came at a really shitty time to buy that bag because now I need a new car. Um, I'm going to be really taking it easy. Like, I don't even know what my work, how I'm going to, like, with my day job. I really don't know how much time I'm going to take off. I was thinking about taking all next week off. It's just really stressful because it's not a really good time. I didn't want to have to do that. It's just a very, very hectic time to be doing that. All right, hey y'all, it's the next morning or next afternoon. I am working from the crib today and I've just been like doing my finances and stuff because today I had to apply for a loan. Um, just getting my finances kind of in order. Uh, yeah, budgeting because the bitch is about to have a car note. Well. But also I haven't updated my money book in a long time because it's been so slow. To me, it hasn't really been worth, like, adding all that stuff in there. Um, but it's starting to get, I'm starting to get a little bit more consistent with how I'm working. So I am going to count up my money from the past weekend. Um, mind y'all, I'm only working in the club from, from 11 to 1.30 or 2-ish. 11 to 1.30 or 2-ish. So, I'm not really in up in the cut like that for a long time. Um, so, that is why it's like that. So, we're going to go ahead and put this through. Um, so, I paid about $100 in tip, tip in and tip out over the weekend. Well, each day respectively. So, keep that in mind. Um, I think, I, but here is the money from over the weekend. Nice, crisp money so i don't know how well to go through the counter um this stuff. so yeah this is from saturday this is from saturday um and then we have a big bill and then this or no this is from friday night and this is from saturday night so friday night i was in um a section with some people that I kind of am acquainted with. It's funny because like our house mom, she counts the money for us. She writes the um, the names on the money. So sometimes like if we're in the club, we'll get money that already has writing on it. So yeah, she actually counts it up for us. So let's see. I don't know if she wrote the total anywhere. I think these are in stacks of hundred though, if I'm not mistaken. So this is two hundred. This is 300, I think. Um, this is 35, this is 20. So 55, right here. And then I think these are all already in hundreds, but I'm still gonna count it just in case. Um, so we're gonna take it out of the rubber bands. It's very, very grateful for any amount of money that I can, I come in contact with. So, yeah, and I write my totals in here, and I wrote my tip out and tip in amount, 
if you guys want to see like an in-depth tour of my book I can do that for you guys as well but for the most part um yeah I used to be a lot better about keeping track of my money but recently I've been inconsistent but as I start working more I am definitely going to be using it more often And honestly, I could have made more on Saturday, but I was tired. So this is going into... I've been really bad about my money recently. So <laughs> today I'm going to get... I get paid today. Like, technically it's tomorrow. I get paid. I have no idea where my other bag went. I have like a, um, a bank bag that I use to... When I take... Put in money in the bank. Oh, perfect. But I need to buy some more rubber bands, honestly. I like the colorful ones, because that's how you know it was mine. I love how clean and neat this money looks. Ugh. But it smells weird. Like, I don't know, this new money kind of smells funny. Funny money. All right. So here it is for the weekend. Almost 700. With tip, I would have made 700. Or with, if I didn't have to tip. So, um, I'm actually so sad because I had this video planned out where I write out my video ideas and my scripts and stuff here. So, I was going to do a stripper 101. See, I even dated it. 927. So, like, a week before my car accident, because I was going to film it, like, that last week, but I was in an accident, so I've been in a lot of pain, but I got new pain meds that actually makes it feel a little bit better. I still feel a lot of, like, soreness in this area, but the pa new pain meds that I have is way better. I can't drink on them, though, so, yeah. But, yeah, I was going to do, like, a stripper 101, so, kind of talking about, like, my experiences. I've seen, I watch a lot of stripper content because it's very motivational to me, and I like to see what everybody else is up to, like, I am nosy, okay? I am nosy. Let's just get that out of the way. I'm nosy, but I also, um, just want to make sure that what I'm doing is, like, on par. Not to, like, compare myself, but, you know, a lot of women and people in the, like, entertainment industry on YouTube are pretty successful, you know, like, they have a very clear idea of what they want to do, what their long-term goals are. And I find that very inspiring. I find that inspiring for myself. So I like to consume that kind of content. So I do watch a lot of that stripper content. And based off of what I see, I w these are the things that I've experienced that haven't really been touched on. Like, I'll give you a brief synopsis because I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to get into with how I'm feeling, like, physically. So, um... I was going to talk about, um, there's not a lot of videos on, like, the differences between the strip clubs or, like, what kind of club there is, so I was going to talk about that, um, talk about, like, the hiring process, um, like, a body check versus stage audition, and I was going to go through some, like, basic moves because I've seen some auditions in my day, and... Like, 99, I'm going to say this in the video, 99% of the time, you're going to get hired based off of the way you look. And depending on the club, like, what your hustle is. At the clubs that I've been to, I rarely have to actually audition. Like, they'll say you have to audition, but they'll just give you the paperwork, which means you're essentially hired, in my experience. Um, but there are some clubs that I've been to that makes you do a stage audition, too. But most of the time, it's going to be based off of, like, if you fit the club's general look. The kind of look that they're going for and you have to like look at their target demographic so there's kind of a lot that goes into it um it's it's a lot easier than it sounds it sounds really scary and intimidating and it's not but yeah so there is that for this book and then i'm gonna put this aside and then work on my budget so i don't know we'll see we'll see but yes i'll check in later i have to go to the tow yard to go look at my fucking car Oi. Hey guys. So, 
It's your girl blue, like the cheese, cause I get to that cheddar. Okay, I'm trying to come up with like an intro. Let me adjust this a little bit. I'm trying to come up with an intro so I can be a little bit more interesting. <laughs> it's blue, like the cheese, cause I begin to the cheddar. I kinda like that. I actually tell people that all the time when they're like, what's your name? I'm like, blue like the color. But yeah, guys, don't hate me. I say this every time, but like y'all, I've had the worst month. Usually, October is historically a very good month for me, y'all. But usually, October is a very lit month for me. But you know what? Just like Megan the Stallion said, bad bitches have bad days too. Like, we have bad days, all of us. So, um, I just happen to have a bad month. And, y'all, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of that happened this month. There's a lot of stuff that I can't really talk about. I tried to vlog, but honestly, I'm going to be vulnerable with y'all for a second. My anxiety, through the roof. My anxiety has been crazy. So, um, I'm actually going to take some leave time. I'm taking some time off work just to focus on my physical health, my mental health. Um, I'm focusing on my physical and mental health. And I'm taking some time off from my day job for a little bit. Um... And luckily, because I have a second job, I will have more time to do things that I like to do and just get myself right so I can do the shit that I need to do. Because this one, if y'all have suffered with anxiety before, you know it's just hard to do basic things that like are very simple tasks, you know, like getting paperwork filled out or getting, getting to work on time. Like mental health makes doing the most mundane tasks like climbing over Mount Everest, you know what I'm saying? So, there's a lot of things that I want to change and, you know, get right with myself before I commit to the things that I want to do because I just don't think that's really possible at the moment because my mental health has been shit. Okay, let me just start from the beginning. There's not a ton that I can say about this at the moment because there's some legal action going on with this at the moment, so... I can't really say, and I don't really want to say too much, but I was in a car accident, y'all. And I did try to record it. I'll put some clips, like, maybe off to the side. Um, to the side about what kind of was I've been going through. But, y'all, I had to get a new car. I had to get a whole new car, y'all. It was just, like, obviously... Hey! Hey! Stop. Obviously, now was not a very good time to, like, incur those kinds of costs, you know? But you gotta do what you gotta do, and we made we made it work. We made it work, okay? Um, so those were just like a, there, there have been a lot of mm, costs, all right? Like a lot of that I wasn't really expecting, you know? And it put a lot of things into perspective for me. Like luckily, I do have a savings account that I was able to fall back on a pretty good amount. So I was very lucky, and fortunately. Look how dark this foundation is. It's fucking crazy. I'm getting too light. Well, it's not. It's just concealer. It's just Estee Lauder. Way too dark. And then this, which I used to use, to use for my under eyes. But it's honestly not bright enough. But, um, yeah. It honestly put a lot of things into perspective. Like, oh, you know, having a, a savings account to fall back on is so important. And having insurance is so important. Like... Thankfully, I have insurance, and thankfully, I had my savings, but had I not, I think I would have been even in a worse spot than I am now, and I, you know what? I Like I said, my mental health has been suffering, horrendous, like suffering, guys. Like, there are days where, you know, my, I was not good, like, you would have put me in grippy socks type, you know, um, so... Yeah, I haven't really been all that great, which is why I haven't really been able to do content. Like, it's honestly been hard to be at both of my jobs. Like, it's really, really hard to sit down for a long time. Like I said, I'm not really trying to get into that, but I am. I'm, I'm getting the medical medical attention that I need to get better. And you know, I'm just doing all the things that I need to do, but that requires me to take some time off for my day job. Um. So, I'm feeling a little bit better as to where I'll be back in the club. It's starting to pick back up. The weather's getting nice. starting to get, you know, pretty good. I had a really, really good night. What was it? Last week? I think it was last week. I made 
a little bit over a thousand dollars which is good i didn't record it i'm sorry guys i did not record it all but it was a really good night and you know after consecutive bad nights and bad unfortunate things happening to me i needed that and yeah so yeah that's kind of what's going on with me i'm going anyway just so i can get consistent again because i didn't have a car for the whole month guys y'all i didn't have a car for a whole month no car Ugh. girl how do y'all how do y'all car this bitches and license list bitches uber everywhere we need to talk we need to chat y'all why are y'all uber eats uber eats is expensive like it is very expensive to not have a car or a license in, in this in this country y'all tripping but i didn't have a car but i recently got a car um i'll put her here got a little nice little whip okay okay all by my lonesome okay no cosign period okay that's how we do it around here we make miss make it happen okay miss make it happen but um i got me a little whip it's my first new car so yeah big girl teens i feel like i should go through like how i went through it that's what i wanted to do originally but if you know you know buying a car isn't really like fun for me anyway it was not fun at all <laughs> it's honestly stressful it's like a high stress type of thing but yeah um i just needed a whip it's just ain't no way ain't no fucking way i'm getting around without one my makeup is looking awful today the fuck going on? What's going on weird? My foundation is this concealer is too dark. But yeah, that's what's kind of been going on with me. Um got a new whip. Um yeah. There's just a lot going on right now. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot going on. Life is really hectic. My mental health has been bad. You know, we've all been there. And I feel like I really want to normalize, like, talking about mental health. Because I was chatting. I don't know if you guys know this. Probably not. Where is my makeup? Hold on. I could have heard that. My homegirl, she just checked me so quick. She was like, are you, are you going to be here on time or are you on color people time? She said regular time or color people time. Bitch, don't ask me no dumbass questions like that. Do I look like not? Like, I'm on color people time, but I'm just gonna do this real quick. And I guess I just gotta finish the rest of my makeup at the club because I'm going to my homegirl's crib and then I'm gonna pick her up and we're gonna go to the club together forever. But I forgot what I was talking about. Mm, what was I talking about? I don't know. The club's gonna be picking up though, and honestly, I'm taking some leave time. I am going to work day shift, y'all. I've never worked day shift before. And I'll be able to vlog and just do the things that I like to do. Honestly, y'all. I see why bitches don't like 9 to 5. Alright, I get it. I 100% get it. And I don't even like being a 9 to 5 bitch, okay? Like, I, I get it. But also, I don't get why people shit on 9 to 5. Like, I get if it's not for you. But I like having insurance. Like, even when I take leave, I'm going to have insurance. Even if I take an extended leave. I'm gonna have insurance so those are the kind of things that I'm like nah I need that I need my flexible um like what is it flexible health savings account I need that shit you know what I'm saying so those are the things that I'm just like nah that's not not that's not negotiable for me because the fuck I look like paying like $800 for some a month for some insurance bro oh yeah speaking of money like there's just a lot of shit that I have to pay for a lot of incurred costs I might have braces y'all I used to have braces as a kid, and if I have to get them again, I'm going to be a little bit sad. Because, oh, what the fuck? I don't know. Do baddies get braces too? I don't know. I feel like that's going to take me back to a very sad time in my life. When I was shy and timid. You know what I'm saying? I'm just such a different person now. So... I feel like my makeup went all really patchy today, and I don't like that. But, yeah. So, I have a fake tooth. For those of you that don't know, I was in a scooter accident a couple years ago. And... I had to get a fake tooth. 
so it's time to get a new one and them holes are not covered under the implant crown is not covered under my insurance so I have to get a new one and that's two grand and then I have to get some uh, I have to get some dental work done like just some it's not even preventative care I know this is kind of bad but the last time I went to the dentist they actually told me that I had like the beginning stages of gum disease and now I have gum disease so they have to do like a cleaning for that and why is it so damn patchy whatever whatever I don't give a fuck anymore um yeah so I have to get that done and then oh my god there's just so many things y'all being an adult is not fun I don't know why the fuck I see we used to, no I used to want to be an adult so fucking bad I regret ever thinking that I wanted to be an adult what the fuck is my deal like being an adult sucks. This shit sucks. I've been su like suffering. Literally suffering. Today I almost had a mental breakdown because like I thought I was going to start getting into it with my family and like if you know me personally, you know that I have like kind of a tumultuous relationship with my um immediate family. I love them to death. I love them so much. But they're kind of problematic, you know, like for me I don't really give two fucks about if you're my family. If you disturb my peace, you gotta go. Period. So today I was just like, oh my god, I'm gonna have to cut my parents off again, or am I gonna have to cut my family off again? I don't wanna do that, blah blah blah, because we just recently started getting like normal, you know. So I wasn't really trying to do all that, because I like being cool with my family, you know. But. I gotta do what I gotta do. I, I gotta put me first, okay? So, yeah, I was kind of there today, but everything's all good. We got that resolved. And I think these are gonna start looking up. Um, so, yeah, um, I told my homegirl that I would just do my lashes at work. So, I am gonna grab... I wish I had, like, a case to put this in, like, my lashes, but I don't. So, we're just gonna wing it. Okay, we goody, we goody, we goody, we goody. I need a fit. Let's go. What should I wear to the club? I think I'm going to wear this. Something really simple. I'm going to wear these, so I'll be right back. And here's the fit. Okay, with the kicks and the big-ass bag that people make fun of me for. Um, let's see. Oh, I got to get some cash money. Let's see. Let's do it in... I guess I'll do big bills. Mm. I hate giving them my big bills, bro. And my homegirl or my roommate, I live with my best friend. I don't know if I've ever said that. I probably have 10 million times because I love my best friend. Um, I live with my best friend. She's on a date and she got a Red Bull for me earlier, but I'm going to steal this one because I'm on a time crunch. Bye, doggies. Love you guys. All right, here's the whip. I don't know how to turn these on, but here's the whip. Let me show you the front. Hold on. My money, phone, wallet, keys, obviously. Obviously. Here it is, y'all. 2022 Honda Accord Sport Hybrid. I'm not playing with y'all this year. CarPlay? Came in a pinch, you leave it to me. No, Prindle? We grown. But let me get on, let me get on before she's on my ass. She told me I have a curfew. She said no curfew for time. I, I don't know, it's kind of giving racist. No, you don't think? Okay, whatever. But yeah, let me get on, let me get on. I'll check in with y'all in a minute. Okay, bye. I'll let you see this one. Yeah, whatever. I'll let you see this one. Look who it is, guys. Tween. You miss me? We're not drunk tonight. We're not drinking. We're I'm drinking. living that sober life. We're doing a cleanse. Well, we as in me, I'm doing a cleanse. I I'm also doing it. a cleanse because I'd be dumb as fuck when I drink. Oh. I have no shirt or bra on. <laughs> I just have a bra and shorts on. What the fuck is this? A tripod. Oh, I'm fucking weak. I was like, she has some anal bees. I wish. I wish I was having some type of fun. These would be huge. You get an anal bead. You get an anal bead. You're dumb. <laughs> You're dumb. This bitch is dumb. That's I want to be cute. celibate again. LOL. Not me. I do. Bro. I be getting mad when I don't have sex. 
I do too, but like it's not a problem when I don't have sex for like a long period of time. That's how I am too, but yeah. like, I'm like not immediately. To do that. So like I met up with my pen pal, like one of my pen pals. Pen he pal. Drove, he drove here. Pen pal. That's what you call him, a pen pal. Yeah, cause like <laughs> we write to each other, like via text. Like we're in jail. Like we're writing letters. Everyone says that, like like a pen pal in jail. I'm like, no, what the fuck? Yeah, because when you say pen pal, it sounds like you're like in the 19 whatever writing letters with a letter, like a fucking feather pen or some shit. Shut up! I'm just romanticizing my life. She's being a hater. Romanticizing with a pen pal? Yeah, with my drug dealer pen pal. Bitch, you're better off fucking letting your hair down your balcony like Rapunzel. I know. Ew, that's ugly. I think that is chips. Honestly, I'm trying to mentally prepare myself and get this energy up because my energy is like... When are you going to make the announcement to my YouTube? <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> okay. Not today, guys. Not today. Oh, we definitely should have napped before we came. I wish. I was too anxious. All right, y'all. So today at the club, it was actually bad. Um, I'm about to spark up too. I don't know if this is allowed. Um, go away. Go, go poop and pee, please. Um. I just got some food. We actually came home really early. It's not even one. It's not even one and we came home. Because uh, my homegirl wasn't feeling good. And she was like, oh, I feel so bad. You know, you picked me up and all this stuff. And she's like, I can Uber home. Bitch, I'm not making my homegirl Uber home. That's crazy. I was like, it's not even that deep. Like, I'm not letting you go home by yourself you know like we came together and like we're leaving together like girl code like i can always bake another bag and the club was slow anyway hey go away the club was slow anyway so i wasn't even really tripping about it you know yeah i haven't been feeling great because of my car accident so like i had a headache and i was actually really in pain today so I'm really not complaining about coming home because I got McDonald's, I'm smoking, and I'm about to chill. Like, don't tell me what a good time. I love being at home. We didn't make shit tonight. It was honestly really good, though. So, I wasn't even concerned about <clears throat> making a shit ton of money. So, we're going to try again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to try to get up early. I might sleep in a little bit just because I'm very tired. But I'm going to take my dog out to go play tennis in the morning. We're going to um, hit some balls. I'm going to clean up the house a little and study. Um, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I take Adderall. Um, I take Adderall. And there's an Adderall shortage right now. So ask me how I feel about it. Ask me how I feel about it. Um, and I'm running really low. So... I guess this will be interesting. My dog is so fast. It's crazy. I'm sending him to boarding school, y'all. I need a mommy vacation. If I had a man, we would we would go on a staycation or a vacation or whatever. If I had a man. Oh my god. So like, I, how honest am I going to be with y'all? I'll be honest. I feel like I need to be a little bit more. I feel like I want to open up to y'all. Okay, so I don't like the guys in my area. Is that weird? I'm not from here originally. Like, I was born and raised somewhere else. So, being here and being around these kinds of guys, like, is different. And I don't really like it. I think they're very disrespectful to women. Okay? So, I'm just kind of over it at, um, at this point. Like, I don't do online dating and stuff. But I don't do online dating anymore. And I'm mainly on Twitter. So, if y'all want to interact with me, follow me on Twitter. I feel like people don't really say follow me on Twitter as much anymore, but I am on Twitter. And I kind of get offended when people are like, you're a Twitter girl, because I'm like, mm, no, I'm not. But I be on Twitter. So y'all should go follow me at under, um, it's body underscore TT. I'll put it somewhere. Follow me on there, because I'm way more active on there than I am on Instagram. But I've been meeting a lot of people from Twitter, you know, so... I feel like I want to talk about them, but 
I don't know. I don't think they watch my videos. I only told one of them about my videos. But I thought he watches it. Well, that's all I'm going to talk about. So, this is my SL. Mass Nicky Link, bitch, my secret lover. Okay? Like, he is my boyfriend. <laughs> In my head. I'm being delusional, but that's my man. But he lives in a different state than me. And the way I found him... Oh, I feel like this is way too specific. Yeah, I don't know if I want to talk about this. <laughs> I have a little pen pal. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that, y'all. I'm not trying to expose myself too much. Because... Ooh, child. I've been caught up on the social media before. And that's just not going to go well. For me. But yeah, I kind of want to get more personal with you guys. I don't know what you guys want to know. Um, I feel like I got like a, not like a lot, but people commenting on like going back to school and like law school specifically. And honestly, I feel like it's such a huge barrier to like overcome and break into really like the legal field in general for women and women of color. So I just feel like I want to talk about it a little bit more and like, you know, the, um, that workforce can be is very diverse and I feel like it should be diverse I don't know I just feel like it should be diverse if you're gonna be representing people you want to rep like you as a person just want to be understood by someone who has similar experiences I don't know if that's making sense but like I don't know I always want to stand up for the little guy and I love being an inspiration to like younger women I think I might have said that before but like being an inspiration to younger women whether that be my own sister or like my homegirls or when people tell me that like I don't know they admire me for whatever reason I'm just like like admire or look up to me and like come to me for professional help and stuff I'm just like so honored because I don't know you see me in that light and you think that I could you know provide you with that i don't know that's just like amazing to me but being like i don't know someone that you can look up to like i think it would have meant the world to me as a kid if i would have just saw someone that kind of looked like me represented and like things so i felt like i could do it you know i don't know if i'm just rambling i'm pretty fucking high so i'm gonna take these crazy dogs inside and i don't know if i'm gonna do a muck because I don't know if I'm making sense like if I watch this back and I'm not making sense I'm gonna be like you stupid bitch but yeah okay see you guys inside all right good morning world <sighs> like I said last night was not the best but you know what we're gonna make it better today I am going to take the dogs to go play tennis this morning um I drink my roommate's Red Bull so I'm gonna go get her another Red Bull and probably grab a coffee and then we're going to study. So today is going to be a productive day. Um, but yes, I'm going to take you guys with me to go play tennis and run whatever errands I need to run. And I'm going to show you all my car too because I didn't get to show you all last night. Okay, let's get into it. All right, y'all. My back seat looks crazy. Or my trunk looks crazy. I love this brand of bag. But here's the car. It's nice. My, car my dog's on the car, but nice, you know. I love the color. Yeah. Got the rackets. I don't have a lot of balls right now, but this is my playing racket and this is my practice. I like this one more, like for power and stuff, but this is more consistent. This is my dog's ball. It's all slobbery, so this is his. Before I start, I'm gonna think about this for a minute. So I picked my homegirl up from work yesterday or from her house and we drove together. Um, and I accidentally texted my crush. I was like, oh, um, hey, you know, hey, I'm here or here. And he just read it. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. That was like for my homegirl. He probably thinks that I'm seeing some guy, seeing a guy. And we text every day and he hasn't responded to me yet. And I'm sad. So tell me what you guys think I should do. I already know what I'm going to do in my brain. But should I leave it alone, wait for him to text me or should I text him?
All right, hey guys, I'm back. We're back. So I pretty much died after I got back from playing tennis with my dog. Um, <laughs> I didn't do shit really. I came home. I was tired. I was super tired. Um, I was just fatigued from the night before, I think. And I just fell asleep until literally now. Now I'm about to make me a chicken salad. But it's going to be salmon because I'm not eating meat at the moment. So we'll go through together and we'll do this. Okay, so yesterday, since we're only there for like literally 25, 30 minutes, they said that we could come back. Well, we could come back today and not have to pay house, and I'm gonna hold them to that. So if they was bullshitting, I'm going home because I don't even really feel like being here for real. So I guess we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Yeah, the parking lot looks eh, kind of early still, but I guess we're gonna see. But yeah, I'll check in inside. Okay, we're back home. Yeah. Today was okay. It was a pretty good night for what it was. Um, I got some cute clips of the club, but it was because I, um, what's it called? I was making a TikTok. So maybe I put the TikTok in here. So yeah, some of like a, reg a regular, it's like a couple. They always bring their like six sisters or like cousins or whoever. So it's always a fun time. They're cool. They like to drink a lot. <laughs> yeah, not drinking in the club sometimes is a little awkward. But usually when you explain to them like you're not drinking, they're cool. So yeah. Sit. Ghost. Sit. Oh. He said, I'm tired, mom. All right, since I haven't really been uploading like I'm supposed to be, I'm gonna do my money count here because it's wet. Like my money bag is wet. I have to wash it. But since I haven't been uploading like I'm supposed to be, I will give you guys a money count. Ew, my bag is gross. This all smells like alcohol. This is so gross. What the fuck is that? Ew. Oh yeah, this definitely gotta get washed. What the fuck is that? Ew. But yeah, tonight was pretty good i'm glad i came out the inside of this bag is disgusting that is so nasty so this is from the section um 122 this just looks like one yeah 122 and then we're gonna count this up i think this might be like 50 bucks it's not a lot but yes there wasn't a lot going on in the club really so that was a night. Oh, let me up, update my TikTok. So here's what we made. It was an all right night. Um, I haven't counted this, but I think this is maybe like 50 or $60. And then this money. So, yeah. I'm going to bring y'all to work with me. Um, yeah, hopefully tonight is a good night. I'm about to finish getting ready and then head to the club. I'm already running late, so let's go get a bag. Hi, what's good? Say 
sober. Well, here's what we made. It was an all right night. Um, I haven't counted this, but I think this is maybe like 50 or $60. And then this money. So, yep. But yeah, um, I don't know. My home, this is my home club that I was at today. I like my home club. I really don't like the DJ. Tell me why. I only, okay, yeah, to be fair, I only work at the club like, I only work at the club for maybe three hours, two days out of the week at this club. But I always tip everyone like I'm supposed to tip, you know? And one time, like, obviously, if y'all don't know, you're supposed to tip the DJ, um, you're supposed to tip the DJ. But for us, like, we pay a house fee and then we pay a tip out. So, um, the tip out is supposed to be like, what goes to security, DJ, whatever. Look how nasty this is. This is so fucking gross. Just gum on this. Um, yeah, so, there's that. And then... The DJ, I only worked for three hours, but like after this one time, so, uh, ew, this is so gross. There was one time where I went up to the DJ and I wanted to go on stage and I gave him $20, okay? And I had 20 bucks in my hand, I gave it to him. And I was like, can you put me on stage like sooner? Cause he literally never puts me on stage. He only puts the people that like he, fucks with on stage and I'm just like first of all why the fuck am I go only going on stage like once during my shit okay but anyway I was just like here's here's I gave him the money and then he looks at me he's like that's it and I was like that's twenty dollars I was like you work at a strip club and you don't know what twenty dollars feels like the fuck because it's normally twenty dollars so I don't know what the fuck he was trying to say and I, after that day I haven't tipped that man because what the fuck are you trying to say what the fuck are you trying to say? So he's not getting shit out of me. Like, you don't put me on stage, I'm not fucking tipping you. That's exactly how it goes. Everyone else, I tip out. I tip out the sweepers. Like today, even though the fucking security, he didn't even pick up all the money because it was wet. That's your job. He didn't pick it up. I still gave him $20. I tipped him $20. I didn't have to pay house today because yesterday I was only there for 30 minutes. So I didn't have to pay house. I tipped that. Um, the head security out because he was looking out so obviously I broke him off and then it was the house mom's birthday so I tipped her money I gave her like 20 bucks so I don't know what the, what the fuck his deal is where he feels like um, the only reason I don't tip him is because he always got a fucking attitude of me I don't like that like lose a tune alright we all work we're all working right now so I don't understand why the fuck you're acting like that but yeah it was shows honestly kind of slow aside from like the section that I was in so if I wasn't in that section, bitch, I would've went home because uh, this money is so gross. So, ew. <laughs> this is disgusting. It smells like alcohol. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna say this is nine bucks. Nine, ew. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, nine. Eighty-nine bucks. Let's see. Eighty-nine bucks plus one twenty-two equals two eleven. So that's what we made today. Not too shabby. I am not complaining considering yesterday was so awful. I'm not mad. I am not mad at it. I am not mad. And especially because I didn't do a lot of work. Two, 122 that's what we have today I don't know if I'm going to work tomorrow um, next week I do want to work I want to work on Wednesday and Tuesday and Wednesday so we'll see I don't know if Zara is going to make another appearance just because she hasn't been feeling good lately so I told her she should focus on her health so yeah um I might check in tomorrow. I don't have a lot to say. So I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I talked about like 
I'll have to rewatch the footage because I don't know. I forgot what I talked about yesterday. But if I talked about my crush, my boyfriend, crush guy, um, we're all good now. He wasn't mad at me. He was just sleeping all fucking day. But yeah, I'll update tomorrow when I'm studying. So good night, guys.